This is pretty impressive. Hello, wonderful people. It's another day in the life of Lauren. Good afternoon. My day started by Pixie getting a mouthful of mud and mulch and bringing it up into my bed, thus leading to me completely needing to change my sheets again. But anyways, today I'm really excited because I've already done it hence why I look done up. But I was at Costco with my mom the other day and I saw the Revlon One Step. What's it called? One second. The Revlon Titanium Max Edition Longer Lasting Styles One Step Volumizer Power of a Dryer Volume of a Styler. And it's supposed to be good for giving a salon-esque blowout and second day hair refresh activated charcoal pens, which I did not know that, which that's amazing. And it advertises as having less frizz and helps reduce damage time. But I had seen people use this and talk about this before, so when I saw it yesterday, I was like, hey, I've got some Christmas money and that would completely change my life if it actually works because I have super duper thick hair that I need to blow dry or else it air dries all funky. It just takes so much time if I ever wanna blow dry my hair and then straighten my hair and then the straightening doesn't even last. It turns like kinky. So that's gonna be the real test with this thing. But I wanted to kind of give an honest review to you guys about that and then Pixie has a haircut in like an hour and I'm gonna do some start of the new year cleaning type stuff. And I also, in the last vlog, got the Doing Well Daily times Danielle Carolyn planner that I was super excited about. And I'm kind of trying to not use it if I don't have a ton that I'm doing in a day, just so I can save it, because you write in the date every day. But I'm super excited, and I got some awesome brush tip to kind of practice tracing the calligraphy and everything so I'm super excited about that and I ordered this a while ago it's called a scrunch sack and I got it to kind of transport my everyday makeup back and forth from college to home when I come home because I've literally been using a clear ziploc bag just so I could see everything in the bag and I didn't have to completely dump it out every time I wanted to use it. So I'm really excited about this and I'll have to keep you guys updated when I start utilizing it going back and forth from school. We actually don't go back to school. I'm probably not gonna move back to the apartment until like the 16th or 17th. So we've been home for quite a while. We've had quite a long break, but it's kind of because our university took every other break away from us, like spring break. We don't get that this year. We didn't have a fall break. So it's been really nice to just kind of have this time and this longer extended break. Also, check out my brilliant idea that I had at Target. So I love perfumes and my dad loves perfumes and colognes, but there's something so magical about it. But in the Home and Hearth Magnolia section at Target, I saw this little Lazy Susan type thing and I was like, how amazing would it be for me to just have a big one of these to kind of display my perfume on because before I got anything, it literally was taking over basically my entire dresser. So it was either this or one of those like two layered handled things that they have there. But I was like, you know what, I'll get this and I can spin it around and see everything. And someday eventually I can use it in my future apartment or house on a coffee table or on a kitchen table or something like that. I just thought that was a really good idea and my life has been changed ever since I got it. So, hello, we are going to try the Revlon One Step Air Dryer, I believe is what it's called, for the first time and I'm kind of scared. But we're gonna give it a go. 
and this is the main part I wanted to include in this vlog. I have been seeing this around just as like an at home blowout kind of easy solution to blow drying your hair because whenever I blow dry my hair it's so thick. First of all I have to section it into multiple sections so that the bottom actually gets dry but I use a brush to like brush it out above the hair dryer so even if I don't use this to get like a blowout I think it'll be really nice that it's just already got that brush bristle thing to it so we are gonna give her a go and I've only watched like one short review other than seeing like Danielle Carolyn use this and stuff so we're definitely gonna see how this goes but I am going to section my hair first let's give her a go okay wow Look at this, I've got like that little, I can probably get better at mastering this technique, but I've got that little like flippy thing going. And it literally took me probably a minute, a minute and a half to get it dry, this section. Which since I have such thick hair, this section is probably about a normal person's half of their head. Whoa, I don't even think I'd need to straighten it or do anything to it. Wow, this is pretty impressive. And this version that I got has the titanium, so I think that's better for leaving your hair smooth. Pretty impressive. So as an honest review, that was honestly amazing and it dried my hair so fast. I've been trying to be really careful with my hair just to prevent heat damage and breakage and I was just talking to my mom about this yesterday but I've been using Function of Beauty's conditioner for like four or five months now and I do not think I have a single split end, knock on wood. And I was debating getting a massive haircut like next week and I was about to do that but I was like, you know what? I just got this new styler that will probably change my life and I want to grow my hair out long enough so that I can donate it. So I'll probably do that at the beginning of the summer. But anyways, I was really nervous that it would cause breakage with like the rolling it up and bringing it through the little brush or heat damage because people said that it gets super duper hot to the point where it burns your ears and i did not experience any of that really and it might just be because i have such thick hair the story may be different for someone with finer hair but i did not feel any tugging at all and it was really awesome and I really like what it did with my hair. And the biggest test is gonna be whether or not it lasts and if I actually can go on second day hair tomorrow with rerunning it through my hair. So we'll see about that, but I really, really like it and I highly recommend it, especially for someone who has combo hair that's more thick and it's harder to straighten your hair on the normal basis just with a blow dryer or a straightener. So yes, I'm very impressed and I'm excited to continue learning more because obviously this was my first time and I'd only kind of read a few things online about it. I'm very excited and I highly recommend. Let's see what the rest of this video has in store. Woo. 
Ooh, yummy! <laughs> Nurse picks in! Can you groom to the little man? <laughs> so much she just sat on the chair and watched her oh they're frisking mom they love each other. yeah you miss Lexi yeah are you Wolfie yeah look at him go <laughs> Pixin Pixie you cute girl Lexi oh Man, this is gonna be heartbreaking. This 1,000 piece friends puzzle that my mom and I worked on for like a week on and off. And I don't wanna glue it together because it was a fun puzzle and we can do it again sometime. But it's gonna be painful to take it apart. Ugh. Okay, mom. This is gonna be so sad. Goodbye. It was fun. This hurts. This is kind of hard to take it apart. No, I mean like the pieces are staying together. Gotta shake it back up for the next time though. It's a sad day, folks. Oh, hi. Pixie looks like she's got a unibrow. <laughs> Pixie. Hey, Pixie. Look a Gucci flip flop in my socks. This is real. Aww. I might get copyrighted for that one. Pixin' and her <laughs> human aunt. Look at her little pink tummy. She looks so cute. <laughs> Wait, hold on. You are pretty cute. Let me put your things. Dad, Dad. You look so pretty. Look at Pixin! Look at Pixie! Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Ouch. She looks so cute! Oh, she's going to try to find you, kitty. <laughs> Ooh. That looks good. Do you like salmon? No. <laughs> Why did you get it then? Because Hannah told me I'd like it. I love salmon. The last piece. My remaining birthday cake. And Pixie looking whatever remains she can find of the salmon my mom gave them. Do you love salmon? <laughs> I can't believe you look so pretty. Aw, look at that lady. Are you a lady? You're a lady. Tea time. Making the whole fam tea. what she does she literally lays in a manner where I cannot possibly stretch out in my own bed do you do that she's so cute I can't even look at her you so cute oh you so cute I took my little road mic off from on top of this camera just because with vlogging, which is very short clips all put together, it's very inconsistent with like the audio level because it would get really, really loud at the start of certain clips and then it just would not mesh well. So I'm sorry for the inconsistency in the audio throughout this video, but I just finished editing and uploading the vlog before this one and I was like you know what I don't really know that it's necessary 
for me to have that. But we just watched This Is Us. It came back on after the mid-season break. I love This Is Us, but it's such a kind of heavy show. So a lot of the times I'm crying during or after watching it. I'm about to kind of chill out and watch some Netflix, fill out my planner for tomorrow. I'm pretty sure you're supposed to fill it out in the morning like that's when it was designed to be filled out which i still leave certain parts of it to fill out in the morning but so far i've just kind of realized that with me i work better with filling it out the night before at least so that i kind of know my timetable of like when i have to do certain things but i'll definitely show you guys kind of what it looks like on a day-to-day -day basis tomorrow but i'm gonna go ahead and chill out and i will see you guys tomorrow Good morning slash afternoon. This vlog has kind of turned into me sitting and explaining lots of stuff. That's okay, you know? First and foremost, my mom and I were around and about early this morning because I had a dentist appointment. <sighs> Long story, I hate the dentist. Like, I'd almost rather go to any other kind of appointment other than the dentist. And I was just blessed with, like, genetically not the greatest teeth, so... Long story short, I have to spend my last morning of break at a 7 o'clock dentist appointment getting a cavity filled, which is just so much fun. But after that, my mom and I went to Starbucks and we really wanted to try the new pistachio latte that Starbucks came out with. So we did, and not gonna lie, I'm not really sure what a pistachio latte could be expected to taste like but it honestly didn't taste much different than just a vanilla latte. But I also said I would kind of show you guys what I do on the day-to-day -day basis in my Doing Well Daily Planner, which I'm so excited to use, especially when I start up with school again and I actually have assignments to like keep track of and classes to go to and things to actually check off the list and add in every single different category. But every day has two pages and you kind of write in the date, which is also nice because if you don't have a ton going on every day, there's not really a point in having an entire spread for a whole day. And then you put what you're grateful for, some affirmations, and then personal growth. It's like a little quote that Danielle Carolyn handpicked out for this Doing Well Daily Planner and you kind of trace it with your brush markers or brush pen and I think that part is so fun. And then you write what you're gonna do for self-care, your mood, your act of kindness and then you can even track how much water you drink and I have filled this part out but like I mentioned I just find it helps me better if I fill it out the night before. And then on this side you kind of track your day by the hour which is also really nice. There's a section for your life to do's, and then there's a section for work and your side hustle. But like I said, I'm really excited to actually start back with school and actually having use for all these different categories. And I'm really excited to utilize them. You must remember this. A kiss is still a kiss. Thank you. Thank you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Yay! It's been a little bit and now I'm back and I just got in my PJs and did a face mask and the Glam Glow Super Mud Clearing Treatment Mask is seriously the best thing in the world. And I'm about to do my mom's mask too. What did you just do? I made a mini cheese board and ate it in my bed. That's nice. <laughs>